Hello all, it's the 10th of March 2016, it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. I've got some great sunshine today, you can see it's very much in my face here. It's about um, 11 degrees and it's only midday so it might get a little bit warmer. Weather is great, everything is moving very fast now so it appears we may be having an early spring so that's uh, excellent as far as gardening goes. As long as things don't get going too much then it gets cold and that can damage it. So let's just have a quick look at what's going on. Now. Um, the purple sprouting broccoli here, you can see, if I can just do a little bit of zoom in action, there you go, look at them florets, if I don't know if you call them florets, but whatever, very nutritious, well and truly on the way, and very happy with how that's all going. And we come over here, a bit more of that purple sprouting broccoli, and now the rhubarb, well and truly underway. This is great, this is, this stuff gives you a sustained fruit crop for a long while as you can see no dig I've mentioned this before in many allotment videos but just for those new to my channel no dig method horse manure on the top I believe this is last year's horse manure and the soil here is nutritious which in my opinion is one of the reasons why uh, this allotment does so well this is all covered up waiting for um, setting I might put a few melons here this year we shall see what's going down and we've got the broccoli, a bit more of it here. And here we've got some curly kale, which is, sorry, this isn't curly kale, this is standard kale, which is a great nutritious plant. Cabbages look already. <coughs> you can see this is all within the netting here with these posts. You want to do this, this is so much easier than just covering them up singularly. Just build yourself a little uh, sort of cage, if you will, with a little bit of wire wire netting over the top like this with your posts dug in the ground and you've got your netting you can even get in there you can get in there a bit easier if you're taller you can even make them higher so you can literally just walk in there which is much easier curly kale i mean look at the look at the look at that i mean that really is so good for you this stuff is unbelievable here we go here Onions or garlic, I forget now, I didn't uh, put these in, somebody else did. And you can see we've got some broad beans. Hopefully we'll miss the black, black fly, as uh, the old wives tale says. Onions, garlic, etc. here. And we've got some Swedes. Swedus giganticus, look at the side of the size of that. That's not an official name by the way, I've just made that one up. And uh, here we go. So we're looking pretty good really, all being considered. This early in the year it's certainly worth having a look around and thinking what you want to do and planning ahead. So yeah, I mean um, it is really good when you get a little bit of sunshine like this because it really makes you want to go outside and do a little bit of work which uh, this is great because many people over the winter kind of hibernate but uh, don't get too carried away because it's only March, relatively early in March and uh, the weather can still change, change drastically so don't go putting anything tender in yet because uh, unless you're going to protect it thoroughly of course because you could be uh, losing your crop and wasting your effort. Now uh, I've got a few projects um, on the cards hopefully I'm going to be doing up a derelict garden soon and uh, I intend to be posting a few videos with regards to this sort of stuff to give people an idea of how I would approach it this garden I'm hopefully going to be doing it's got some trees there that need to be taken down it's got uh, long grass weeds uh, a ridiculous volume of ivy that I've never ever seen before growing all over a garage so this has all got to come down but uh, so I'm hopefully going to be posting some videos on this and give people an idea of what they can do and what can be achieved with a relatively small garden so um, lots of things to do this year it's all looking good great crop of broad beans here it really is and hopefully if these all produce well we are going to be absolutely laughing. So that is all good. Okay, I hope uh, that's been interesting. I'm just going to try and give you a little scan of, of the allotment here. Just going to try to show our allotment here. Don't wish to invade others' privacy. This is about 130 square metres, I believe and it's rented for about 50 pounds a year something like that so that really is that really is great i mean if you you know you, just 50 quid and you can get all of this 
food out of it, exercise, food, exercise, meditation if you want, chilling out down here. You know, we don't, we choose not to have a shed because it takes up space, but you can have a shed and you can have your little uh, coffee machines in there, can't you? You can have your, what do they call them, camping stoves, as long as you're careful, of course, and don't blow the place up. But there's so much you can do with an allotment. Kids love it down here. So there we go, all under control, all looking good and awaiting the spring. I do appreciate all of your comments and everything down below. I do read them all. If I don't respond, it's not because I'm being rude or ignorant. It's simply because I've got uh, a lot on a lot on the cards at the moment. I'm doing a lot of overtime at work and also a lot of side projects as well. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, we don't have as much time in this modern world as one may like. For example, I'm going to work at 1500 hours this afternoon and working all the way till half past 11 at night. So that's absolute deep joy, that one. But uh, we have to do these things because we need that little thing called money. Okay, take care and speak soon.